Hello, and welcome to the CN Maestro 5.0.0 What's New video, where we will cover the highlights of the newest features available in CN Maestro 5.0.0. In this release of CN Maestro, we have added support for client device connection tracking, additional dynamic DNS providers, the ability to add source NATs into your network, the ability to import MAC address bindings, support for fiber optic PON networks, the ability to create application control policies for devices and user groups, you can add custom application management to AP groups, and we have added a self-registration guest access portal and a Google-based authentication portal. There are a lot more features in this release of CN Maestro, in fact, too many to cover in this video, so I have provided a list of the additional new features which are available but will not be covered in this video. In the event you would like to revisit a specific feature in this video, I have provided a list of the features and the time that they appear in the video so that you can easily go back and review certain features at any time. With this release, the NSC gives you visibility into the network activity of client devices. This will assist with network usage visibility and client troubleshooting. You can review the client device source and destination IP address, the application, receive and transmit bytes and packets, the direction of the traffic flow, the state of the flow, and the protocol being used. To review the client device traffic flow information, go to the network tree and select the NSC that the client device is connected to. Then go to the clients page and click the host name of the client device you want to drill into for the traffic flow information. Then go to the traffic flows page where you will find the client device source and destination IP address, the application, the transmit and receive bytes, the direction of the traffic flow, and the state of the flow and the protocol being used. The dynamic DNS feature in the NSC allows for automatic updates to a server host name to an IP address mapping. This alleviates the manual task of constantly updating DNS records every time a new IP address is assigned to a server. In this release of CN Maestro, we have added several DNS providers that you can specify when configuring dynamic DNS. To configure a dynamic DNS provider, go to your NSE group, WAN page, dynamic DNS section. Enable Dynamic DNS, select one of the providers, specify the host name of your server, enter the secret given to you by your DNS provider, and the DNS zone. When using source NAT rules, you are able to add up to eight WAN IP addresses, then specify the LANs that will utilize specific available WAN IP addresses. So for instance, you can have all traffic from LAN segment 10 assigned to one WAN IP address and all the traffic from LAN segment 20 assigned to a different WAN IP address. To configure source NAT rules, go to your NSE group WAN page. Then, Add the additional WAN IP address in the additional IP addresses box. You can add individual IP addresses, an entire subnet, or an IP address range. In this example, I will add a range of eight WAN IP addresses. In the Source NAT Rules section, click the Add New button. For LAN pool, Notice that you can select all LAN, an IP group, or an IP address or source subnet. 
In this example, I will select IP address source subnet and then assign all traffic from that subnet to the WAN IP address of 10.100.100.10. And then I can specify that all traffic on the 192.168.101.0 subnet gets assigned to the WAN IP address of 10.100.100.11. MAC binding in the NSE provides DHCP with reservations. This allows the administrator to bind a device MAC address to an IP address, ensuring that the device always receives the same IP address from the DHCP server. This is easier than maintaining a spreadsheet with static IP addresses for your devices. With this release of CN Maestro, you are able to import a list of device MAC addresses with their assigned IP addresses. To import a list of MAC addresses that are bound to an IP address, go to your NSE group. Edit the VLAN you are working with, and at the bottom of the Edit VLAN page, you will find the MAC binding list section. You can import a CSV file with the device MAC address to IP address mappings by clicking the Import button, browsing out to your local hard drive, and selecting the CSV file. This release of CN Maestro X provides management, configuration, and monitoring services for fiber optical line terminal. CN Maestro provides comprehensive tools for efficient management and optimization. The dashboard displays the configuration information of the OLT, including alarms, port status, ONU by signal level and per port, ONUs upon downlink utilization and throughput, and uplink throughput, Ethernet downlink and uplink throughput. The notifications page displays the alarm information of the OLT. The configuration page allows users to configure the OLT. The details page displays the OLT information. The performance page displays the performance graphs for ONU, CPU, memory, and the temperature of the OLT and ONU. The optical network unit page displays the number of ONUs connected to the OLT and their information. The ports page displays the port details and the software update page allows users to maintain and upgrade the software. CN Maestro provides the ability to create access control policies for user groups and devices. When creating a policy for user groups, you will leverage the existing RADIUS server by providing a RADIUS filter ID and you can automatically assign this group to a specific VLAN. The policy will apply the application control policy to the user group. With the device groups, you can create a group based on a classification of devices or drill down to select a specific device. When you add the application control group, you are applying the rules in the group to the devices configured in this policy. To create a user group policy, or a device policy, open your AP group and go to the Access Control page. To create a user group policy, in the User Group Policy section, click the Add New button, give the policy a name, and add the RADIUS server filter ID assigned to this group and assign an access control policy. You can also assign a VLAN for everyone in this group to be assigned to when they log in. 
To create a device policy, in the device policy section, click the Add New button, give the policy a name, and then select the device class. This is the type of device that will be managed by this policy. For the device type, you can select all devices in this device class, or you can select a specific type of device. And then once again, apply the access control policy. CN Maestro allows you to manage over 2,400 different applications using the internal deep packet inspection engine. There may be times where you need to manage an application that is not included in the application database. CN Maestro provides a way for you to add applications and manage those applications just as if they were part of the application database. To add a custom application, go to Configuration, Wi-Fi Profiles, and Custom Applications. Then click the Add New button. In the Add Custom Application window, give the custom application a name, assign it to the customer account, and enter the fully qualified domain name or the IP address of the application, assign a category, and then assign a productivity and a risk index. Enable this custom application policy and click Add New. Now, with the custom application created, the application will be pushed to devices along with AP groups by default. If you do not want custom applications pushed out with the AP group, you will need to go to that AP group and then go to the Services page and in the Application Visibility section, disable Custom Applications. For enhanced security and guest satisfaction, CN Maestro 5.0.0 includes a guest self-registration access portal. With this guest portal, the guest will need to provide his email address before gaining access to the Wi-Fi network. The network administrator can also require that someone in the company approves the guest access or the guest must provide a company's sponsor's email address before gaining access to the Wi-Fi network. To configure the self-registration guest access portal, go to Network Services, Guest Access Portal, and open your company's guest access portal. On the access page, Go to the self-registration page where you will enable the self-registration portal. Select whether or not a sponsor is required and if the sponsor's confirmation will be manual and this is where the guest will enter the sponsor's email address and the sponsor will manually approve the request or this confirmation can be automatic. Then, if the administrator wants the guest to also receive the confirmation via a text message, he can configure SMS gateway providers such as Twilio, FastSMS, SMS Country, and others. Once the administrator selects the SMS gateway provider, he will also need to configure the auth token, the account SID, what country the SMS message is originating in, and the password template. CN Maestro X now includes a Google login portal to go along with the existing Microsoft Azure login portal. The Google login portal will leverage your existing Google infrastructure including the Google Login and Authentication Engines, plus the Google Directory infrastructure you have already created and are maintaining for your organization. When an end user attempts to connect to the SSID using the Google portal, they will be given access to the Wi-Fi network, the local area network resources, and the Google ecosystem only 
after they have successfully logged in with their Google credentials. To configure a Google Access Portal, go to Network Services, Guest Access Portals, and open your existing portal. Then go to the Access Enterprise Google page. You will need to enable the Google Login Portal, enable Directory Synchronization, authorize the Google Portal using admin credentials, and then set a device limit, a client session duration, and a client rate limit if necessary. Okay, this concludes this What's New video highlighting the newest features available in CN Maestro 5.0.0. Thank you for your time and have a great day.